friends, Brian here from Middle Age Mind and Muscle. Yes, I'm in the car again. For a guy who's been trimming down and losing body fat, I eat a lot of food, man. Holy shite, I'm going for another grocery run. It's crazy, crazy, crazy. So I wanted to talk to you today about, uh, I want you guys to rate my drop set. But before we do that, I want to uh, know those guys. Got them out walking, I'm very proud of them. I want to talk to you guys about, again, it's the whole steroid thing. So, number one, when I hear really stupid people who have no idea what they're talking about, they're uneducated, totally clueless, making comments and moral judgments on people about steroids, it's just really stupid and ignorant. It's annoying for someone who's been around for a while. It's kind of like, you know, steroids are part of strength sports, athletics, and part of bodybuilding. It's part of the culture. It's kind of like, you know, if I went to a hippie convention and everyone's smoking marijuana and magic mushrooms and doing all the shit they do. And I'm like, hey, no, no, you, no, no, this is cheating. You guys aren't good people. You're smoking weed. That, that makes you a bad person. Don't you know the side effects from that? Now, that being said, there's a flip side of that, okay? You can make progress training naturally if you train hard and you train right. You can make progress if you use, you know, enhancement. But, you know, I think, and I saw a thing the other day about, uh, and I don't know how old the podcast is, but it was your good buddy, Michael Hearn, and Rich Gasperi talking about that drugs are replacing hard work. And I think there is an element of that going on now these days. You know, I can think back even about 10 years ago when I started getting back into lifting in my 40s. God. Uh, I remember this kid used to come in. He was in his 20s. And six months of the year, he would go on trend. A lot of trend, <laughs> horrifying amounts of trend, and he looked great. He didn't he didn't train that hard, but he looked good. Uh, and then six months he'd go off, and he would lose everything, and he'd be back to zero. So I really think it's important for people if you really want to get into lifting, you know. And you're going to hear a lot of the old timers say this, and I know a lot of you out there are going to roll your eyes. Why the fucking sun on my face? Oh, well, maybe a little bit of vitamin D. I don't know. Uh, see what your body is capable of doing naturally give yourself five or six years uh, of hard training eating good you know I know that's kind of counterculture now today because you know leveraging commitment on anything these days out of people is very difficult uh, people want things yesterday God damn son there we go much better so I, I think a very modest goal for people to shoot for naturally would be, and this is only my opinion with my genetics, but a 315 bench, uh, and I'm gonna say a 500 deadlift and a 405 squat. After five years of hard training, I think a lot of people should be able to accomplish that. But on the flip side of it, the whole natty or not, when people get preoccupied with steroids and they see someone is in shape and they devalue the work by saying, oh, they take steroids. There's no acknowledgement of the work, the commitment, the dedication, the diet. Because as I said, there's people out there, a lot of people to this day, they think you just pop a few pills and boom, there you go. Well, if it was that easy, we'd all look like a million bucks. But again, ignorance is just everywhere. And it just gets very frustrating and annoying. But when I see people like the Naughty or Not videos or people that are obsessed with steroids and who's taking them and who's not, whatever. When I go out to a commercial gym, which isn't very often, and I see people train. Even the past few years when I go to a commercial gym, when I see 90% of the people train out there, uh, yeah, no, it's it's pretty sad. People sitting on their phones, not really kind of going through the motions, no intensity, no progression, no pushing through pain, no challenging yourself. You got to purify. You got you have to purify yourself with pain, folks. You have to to get the gains. So what I want you guys to do is this next clip is uh, a recent chest tricep workout I did. I finished, uh, now drop sets. Drop sets are an interesting science. Uh, I got that concept from Tom Platts in the 80s where you're compensating for the fatigue in your muscles by lowering the weight to keep going. And it's a good way to really push through, push your muscles hard. And again, you know, I look at every workout counts. I'm trying to, you know, harm the tissue so it has to repair itself. The body has to respond. That's why I'm a big believer in not always doing the same workouts. 
But this, I think, would be an example of the intensity that I learned in the 80s. So what I want you guys to do is rate my drop set. And for some of you kids out there who are worried about steroids and not getting the results you want, try and put some intensity like this into your workouts. Now, I'm not saying do drop sets all the time. I don't do them every workout. But throw it in once in, throw it in, once in a while. The harder you can push through the burn, the more your body is going to give back. So bring it on, good, bad, whatever, rate my drop set. What do you guys think? And remember, this is my therapy. This is the infamous sign here. People ask me about. We work out in the middle of nowhere, little community gym up in the fucking hills, up in the forest. But uh, anyway, the guy who makes the signs, he can't spell. What, what do you want me to do? So when you guys see me getting pissed off about people who are worried about who's natty or not and fucking steroids, there's a discipline that you learn when you're younger, at least I did in the 80s and in the 90s, about training hard. But you don't see a lot today, especially if you go into the commercial gyms. People sitting on their phones, worried about who's taking fucking steroids. So the drop set, the art of the drop set, it's a bit of a shock to your nervous system. I don't do it every workout, but sometimes when you really gotta destroy your tissue to make gains, again, I don't wanna pull the age card, but 50, you're pulling every trick out of the box. So I'm gonna do a drop set and uh, we'll go from here. So we got the full stack, the last set of the workout. Thank you. 